Good morning, Miners. My name is Dylan. And I'm Miley. Today is Monday, October 24th, and this is Miner Morning TV. Today's schedule is period 1, 2, brunch, 3, 4, lunch, 5, and 6. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, Miners. There is a Defiant Club meeting this Wednesday, September 26th, in room 41 at lunch. Bring your lunch and friend and see you on, in room 41 at lunch on Wednesday. Thank you to everyone who signed up for our Placerita Dodgeball Tournament last week. We can't wait to get this competition going and to see who will be victorious and take on our very own teacher and staff team. Team Captains, don't forget that next Wednesday during lunch is our Dodgeball Team Captains meeting in room 13. All teams must have a representative at this meeting or your team will be disqualified. Thanks to everyone who signed up this year's, to this year's Dodgeball Tournament. This will surely be a blast. Did you donate $50 or more at the Stepped Up fundraiser? Well, tomorrow is our big day of awesomeness rewards event. All students who donated $50 or more dollars will be receiving a wristband from your first period teacher tomorrow morning. This wristband is your ticket to Day of Awesomeness, so don't lose it. The, the event will be taking place tomorrow right after brunch. After brunch, you will head directly to the Day of Awesomeness on the track. You will get to enjoy inflatables, music, prizes, and fun. If you're attending, you will be missing your fourth and fifth period classes, but you, you are still responsible for any work that you missed out. Please talk with your fourth and fifth period teachers right away to find out what you will be missing. On one final note, since you will be running around on lots of inflatables, it's a good idea to wear sunscreen. Bring plenty of water, and you might even want to pack a little pair of socks. We can't wait to enjoy some awesomeness with you. If you have any questions, see Ms. Schultz in room 13. Do you love dressing up for Halloween? On Monday, October 31st, we are going to be holding a costume contest at lunch in front of the 800 building. There will be a prize for the spookiest, the funniest, the most creative, and the best group costume. Remember, all costumes must be school appropriate and follow the Halloween school costume guidelines. We can't wait to see your spooky costume. Here's a video. Hey, do you want to go to the costume contest? Yeah, it's from the 800 buildings, right? On October 31st. Okay, so the themes are funny, scary, creative, and best group costume. Okay, now for the funny. Now for the scary costume. Technical difficulties. Well, that was one scary costume. Did you see that last guy's costume? It was so scary! Well, that was the scariest thing that I've ever seen. Since this is the last week of October, this means that our October final Friday is also approaching. Since October is known for ghoulish darkness, this final Friday is blackout day with a little sprinkle of orange. That means this Friday we want to see you pull up in all black with a little sprinkle of orange for this season of fright. You can wear face paint, hair dye, fun makeup, or whatever you need to fit into this ghoulish festival of fright. We can't wait to see your that sp spectacular orange and black this Friday. Are you guys dying for a grave-tastic time? Well, we have an event just for you ghouls to enjoy. This Friday, October 28th, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., we will be having a Placerita's iconic family fun night of terror. Come witness an event so spooktacular that it could be a crime. Bring your entire family to this event where there will be a spine-chilling haunted house in Tanner Hall, some hauntingly fun game booths, delicious burgers and dogs, and Kona Ice. Admission will be free, but tickets will be available for a $1 ticket at the gate. You need to make sure that you have tickets to enter the haunted house, play at the game booths, and get food. Tickets can be pur purchased for cash only, so bring your family and, hope to, and we hope to see you there all this Friday for a full night of terrifying fun. And now let's recap from last Friday's Pumpkin Pumpkin Relay Race. Roll the video.
for this week's birthdays. Miners, last week of October, this is the last week of October, so here's a story on why we wear pink to support breast cancer. And now over to Penny with this week's weather. Let's see how accurate she can be this week. Good morning, Pasarita. This is the weather. The wind is going to pick up this week. Today, it'll get up to 77 degrees with a low at 50. Tomorrow, we'll be at 79 and a low at 52. Wednesday will be a high of 75 degrees with a low of 52. Thursday is going to get up to 79 and a low of 52 as well. Friday will be 75 degrees and a low of 52. Over the weekend, it's going to be just like the rest of the week. So guys, make sure you hold on to your hat. I'm Penny Regan, and this is Weather or Not! And now over to Mr. Turner. Good morning, miners. Well, that's a pretty hard act to follow there, Penny, with all of that wonderful weather information. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, this week is, believe it or not, as you've already heard today, the last week in October. Um, where did October go? I mean, one week from today is Halloween. And one thing I do want to mention to you this morning is let's be really careful with all the candy that we have going around I would be really careful as to how and who you take candy from. If it's just a, randy per, a random person trying to give you candy, please be careful with that this year. There's also a community event this Thursday evening with several community members, including our captain of our sheriff's station, along with uh, some folks from the Child and Family Center to talk to us about the Rainbow Fentanyl. I sent all that information to all of your parents last week. It's also in the Minor Mondays for teachers uh, today as well. So if you're interested in joining on Thursday evening, please take a look at that. I think that'll be very important for us to uh, be aware of some things related to that. So just be really careful and just don't take, and we've talked about this before, just don't take random candy from anyone. Uh, be careful with that. Um, also, last week, the drill. You guys did a wonderful job. Uh, Ms. Davis wanted to make sure that I told you guys today that um, your movement out to the field and your placement in your lines and everything that you did with the drill was fantastic. So thank you for that uh, very much. And uh, we'll probably do another one of those a little later in the spring just because um, we're supposed to know exactly and remember where to go. So thank you for what you did last week. With that being said, don't forget, you've already heard, we've got a lot of stuff going around this week and things going on everywhere, especially Friday. Uh, depending on what your plans may be, don't miss the family fun night of terror. Uh, that sounds a little funny when you say it like that, right? So uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there. And back to Dylan and Miley. Every day at Placerita is a holiday. Today is National Food Day. Yum. That's all for us today. 
I'm Miley. I'm Dylan. Have a magnificent Monday, Miners.